Halberdiers, Halberdiers, shut! Arwainedd, gwestiwn o fri a ffawb sydd wedi ymgynnull yma y prynau'n yma croeso. Leader, distinguished guests, and everyone gathered here this afternoon, welcome. Hoffwn, gyflwno a'i deilengdod mae'r bydaistref Sirol Castellnydd Port Albert y cynghorydd Robert Wood, i chyr Sirif, Gorllewyn Morganwg, Mr. Stephen Rogers, a Garglwydd Raglaw a'i fawr hyrru, Gorllewyn Morganwg, Mrs. Louise Fleet. I would like to introduce His Worship, the Mayor of Neath Port Albert County Borough Council, Councillor Robert Wood, the High Sheriff of West Glamorgan, Mr. Stephen Rogers, and His Majesty's Lord Lieutenant of West Glamorgan, Mrs. Louise Fleet. Prinhanda, good afternoon. Before the accession of His Majesty King Charles III is proclaimed, we will remain silent for two minutes as a mark of respect for Her Late Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II. The Piper's Lament will then mark its end.
We come together this afternoon following the passing of our late sovereign, Queen Elizabeth II. Our sadness at this time is shared by people across the world. As we, re as we remember with great affection and gratitude the lifetime of service given by our longest reigning monarch. But on the basis on which our monarchy is built has ensured that through the centuries the crown has passed in an unbroken line of succession. Today's ceremony marks the formal proclamation to the people of West Glamorgan of the beginning of our new king's reign. I now call upon Gaynor Richards, MBE, Deputy Lieutenant and former High Sheriff of West Glamorgan to read the proclamation in Welsh and the High Sheriff of West Glamorgan, Stephen Rogers, to read the proclamation in English. Gannai bod wedi rhyngu bod i ddiw holla lliog i amlw yw ofan o'n diweddar sofren yr arglwyddes ffrenhines yn Elisabeth yr Ail o fendigaid a gogoneddus goffaduriaeth y mae coron teyrnas unedeg prydain fawr a gogledd i werddon o blygyd eu hymadawiad wedi dod yn gwbl ac yn gyfian i ran y tywysog Charles, Philip a Thir George. Yr ydym nynau felly ar glwyddi ysbrydol a thymhorol y deyrnas hon ac aelodau o dir cyffredin ynghyd ac aelodau eraill o gyfryng cyngor a'i ddyweddar fawr hydi. Cynrychiolwyr y teyrnasoedd a'r tiriogaethau, henaderiaid a dinasyddion llundain ac eraill, y nawr yn datgan ac yn cyhoeddi drwy hyn yn unllais ac o galon a thafod unfryd, fod y tywysog Charles, Philip a Thir George, bellach o blygyd marwolaeth yn ddiweddar sofren o serchus goffaduriaeth, wedi dod yn ni yn unig gyfreithlon a chyfiawn ddyledog arglwydd Charles y Trydydd, drwy ras dyw ar deyrnas unedig, prydain fawr a gogledd i werthol, a'i deyrnasoedd eraill yn frenyn, yn ben ar y gymanwlad, yn amddiffynnwr y ffydd, i'r hwn yr ydym yn datgan a gan wylserch gostyngedig, a'i'n holl ffydd anhefydddod, gan atolwg ar ei ddiw, drwy'r hwn y mae brenhinoedd a brenhinesau yn ternasu, ffendithio a'i fawr hydi a hir oes hapus i deyrnasu drosom. Rhoddwyd ym Hala St. James, y degfed y ddydd o fis medi, ymlwyddyn ein harglwydd, dwy fil a dwy ar hygen, dyw a gadwar brenin. Whereas it has pleased Almighty God to call to his mercy our late sovereign lady, Queen Elizabeth II, of blessed and glorious memory, by whose decease the crown of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland is solely and rightfully come to the Prince Charles Philip Arthur George. We therefore, the Lord Spiritual and Temporal of his reign, and members of the House of Commons, together with other members of Her Late Majesty's Privy Council, and representatives of the realms and territories, aldermen and citizens of London and others, do now hereby, with one voice and consent of tongue and heart, publish and proclaim that the Prince Charles Philip Arthur George is now, by the death of our late Sovereign of happy memory, become our only lawful and rightful liege lord, Charles III, by the grace of God of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, and of his other realms and territories, King, Head of the Commonwealth, Defender of the Faith, to whom we do acknowledge all faith and obedience with humble affection, beseeching God by whom kings and queens do reign, to bless his majesty with long and happy years to reign over us. Given at St. James's Palace this 10th day of September in the year of our Lord, 2022. God save the king. God save the king. I now call upon the mayor's chaplain to say prayers and to give the blessing. Gwyddiwn, an enw'r tad a'r mab a'r ysbryd glân. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. These prayers have been sent by His Eminence, 
Cardinal Vincent Nichols, who is the Cardinal for England and Wales. Almighty God, you are the author and sustainer of all human life. Grant that your servant Elizabeth, our Queen, whom you granted a long and happy reign as monarch of these lands, may be forgiven her sins and rewarded with that eternal life promised to all born again in the waters of baptism and the power of your spirit. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A prayer for the royal family. Almighty God, source of all consolation, we pray for the members of the royal family who mourn the loss of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth. Uphold them in your love and pour out on them the consolation of your healing spirit. Let them find in your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, comfort in their sadness, certainty in their doubt, and courage to live through this hour. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And finally, a prayer for King Charles III. O God, to whom every human power is subject, grant to your servant, His Majesty the King, wisdom in the exercise of his high office, so that always revering to you and striving to please you, he may constantly secure and preserve for the people entrusted to his care the freedom that comes from unity and peace. We make these prayers through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of God, which surpasses all human understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge of God and of his Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. And with the blessing of God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, come down upon you, remain with you, and those whom you love, today and always. Amen. Diokhavar, thank you for your attendance. The ceremony will now conclude with the national anthems. <laughs>